Have you thought of buying in Mexico? I'm currently in the process and will share with you what I've learned. Today, let's talk about finding a property. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jill Uplager with Denver Real Estate at Remax Alliance. If you're interested in the Denver area, then you have come to the right place. I post weekly tips, tours, and topics about real estate and living in the Denver area. If you would like to see more of my videos, remember to tap that subscribe button. This video series is a deviation from topics related to Denver, Colorado. This series will be about the process of buying in Mexico. I'm going to share my personal experience and hope this information is helpful to anyone else considering buying in Mexico. Let's start with finding a property. My search started while on a trip to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. I met with a real estate agent who set up a number of properties to tour over a couple of days. This was helpful in identifying other areas north and south of Playa del Carmen that were great options. Unfortunately, we didn't continue to move forward with using that particular agent. So while back in the Denver area, I set out to try and find properties that matched what I was looking for by searching online. What I had learned while in Mexico was, there is no multiple listing service or MLS like we're used to in the US. This can pose a problem for real estate agents and clients to find new and available listings. I was referred to point2homes.com, but soon became frustrated trying to search from the comfort of my home in Colorado. Since I didn't have an agent representing me as a buyer, when I found a property I was interested in online, I would email the listing agent and ask if they could set up a video walkthrough. Again and again, I was told the property advertised was no longer available. Then the agent would ask for more information on what I was looking for so they could find it for me. I would let them know I only wanted information on the property I had inquired about and go back to searching. Since I'm a Remax agent and Remax is worldwide, I used my access to the Remax referral network to locate an agent in Mexico. I spoke to the agent a few times asking about the buying process and what I should expect as it's much different than buying in the US. I shared my experience about trying to search online for a property and his response was, yeah, there's a lot of bait and switch. The inventory is not updated, so it takes patience. So here's my advice. Find an agent to help locate properties that are available and set up tours in person or by video walkthrough. It's difficult to find a resale property online that is actually still available. Searching online will help you research what different areas have to offer, but that was the extent of what I was able to accomplish through online searching. If you're looking at new developments, you'll have a totally different experience as there are many to choose from. In my next video, we'll talk about real estate agents, attorneys, and developers in the process of buying real estate in Mexico. If you found today's topic helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you get notifications every time I post a video and you won't miss a thing. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to check out some of my other videos showing on the screen. Thanks for watching.